The World Cup of Darts, Day 1. Applause and accolades for the Shamrocks, or silence s'il vous plaît, and pure Canadian heart. The hurricane was all fired up, and that meant Belgian headbutts. And why was the Kirkulator intervening in the England-Philippines match? Global bragging rights today on High Roller Radio. Yes, exciting times indeed. You have to love the World Cup, don't you? One of the greatest events on the PDC calendar, nation v. nation, for world domination. Darting supremacy, baby. And you know who High Roller Radio is cheering for? Go Canada, go. Mounties for bounties. We bring darts to a gunfight. It's day one of the World Cup, announced Liam Martin. Two sessions, 16 matches. Will we see any upsets today? And I think that's almost guaranteed, my friend. Again, hosers, you're all playing for second. Cheers, eh? So excited for the action, tweeted the Devonator. Cannot wait for Team USA. Was not going to sleep in on this. 4 a.m. wake-up call, and that's what you call a diehard. The boss, Charlie Gray, giving us this update. Day one is here, he said. Of course, it's being played behind closed doors due to the coronavirus, and we thank you for that, Charlie. All right, who will score first blood and make their mark at the World Cup? Let's find out. Lithuania versus Gibraltar to get us going. The Gibraltar duo, a couple of 18-year-olds, what an experience for them. Justin Hewitt and Craig Galliano. Hewitt here, fourth leg for two all. Yes, double five, no problem. He liked it. And here's Galliano for three all. His reaction, he liked it too. They were hanging tough. The problem, Lucky D and his partner were lucky to have the darts. They used them wisely, would not be broken. And at 4 3, this man would close it out. Mindigus Baraskas eyeing up double four, no problem. Game set match. 5-3 your final. And how about this from the weekly darts cast? You gotta like it. Lithuania becomes the 33rd nation to win a match at the PDC World Cup of Darts. First World Cup win at the second attempt. Hashtag milestones. Congrats and well done. Lucky D, a recent guest of ours. Portugal, a late entry into this event. Up against Hungary next. Jose de Souza saying, hey boys, all lead the way. First one up the stairs. Thumbs up signs all the way. Seems to be loving life these days, and why not? He took charge once on stage. Double eight for two nil. Yes, and it was all Portuguese power from there. The two Jose's. Jose squared. You know he loves the math. A whitewash, folks. Five nil your final. D'Souza's like, you think you can handle this? Bring it on. Denmark facing New Zealand. This is Niels Henso with the maximum. His reaction by the time he got to the board, a World Cup 180. Brilliant. Unfortunately for the Danes, Cody Harris and Hopai Puha were steamrolling. Better scoring, better finishing, a 3-0 start. A big reason, the checkout ability of Puha. He was hitting all the doubles, as indicated here by Prime Wallace. He was red hot, gave us not one but two fire emojis. And guess what? He got the last double two. Landed all five, in fact. The game winner on tops, 5-2 your final. New Zealand takes it. Okay, for our fourth fixture, I was trying to conjure up all things Canada. Back bacon, gotta love it. Best fishing in the world. The truth right there. Why? Because Team Canada was on next angling for a victory over Daryl Gurney and Brendan Dolan, Northern Ireland the favorite. Just spoke to Jeff said at support PDC. He's ready to rock and roll, baby. And my friend, you were not lying. First blood to the Canucks leg three. The silencer coming up huge on the 154 monster finish heard from shore to shore. And the reaction awesome. Pure Canadian heart. A break of throw. 154 finish from Jeff Smith tweeted the weekly darts cast how much did high roller radio enjoy that just a little bit just a little bit I was off my seat what a shot super chin wasn't at his best but he did hit double for 3-2 Dolan backstage applauding the effort 
But that was it, my friends. That's all they could muster. This is Smith's start to close it out. 5-2 the final. Canada wins. Double eight for the upset. The Canadians averaged a ton plus most of the way. They finished off at 95. Terrific performance. I was so excited I missed the interviews. But I can tell you they were both thrilled not only for themselves but the people back home watching Go Canada Go. Brimming with pride, said Doug McKillop. Amazing darts and great interview. Oh my God, that was awesome, said the demolition man. And Bobby Clark didn't have to chop down Harlamov's leg to win. Wow, at the hammer wheels with a very rare reference to the 1972 Canada-Soviet Union Summit Series. He shoots, he scores. Paul Henderson. We pick up the Belgium-Czech Republic match all square at three. The Czechs had a 3-1 lead, but with Dimitri Vandenberg at the hockey and sitting on tops, three on the spin, yes. And I've always loved the intensity Kim Hybrex brings to a darts match. We got the head, but they were all fired up in the decider. The Hurricanes experience shone through. Timely ton 40 here, and then the celebration followed soon thereafter. Got the double two, and you think he was happy? Over the top, baby. We got the intensity again. 5-4 your final Belgium fights back to take down a nail-biter, and why not one final headbutt? Next up, I had to wish our neighbors good luck. Could Team USA make darts great again? Well, they'd have to get by Austria first, and the pairing of Menser Sulovic and Roby John Rodriguez, who led 4-1 at one point before the Americans held for 4-2. In the seventh leg, it ended, the host nation advancing easily and moving into round two. England raced out to a quick 2-0 lead on the Philippines. The team of Rob Cross and Michael Smith heavily favored, of course, Kirk Bevins letting Noel Maladome and Lawrence Alogan know they were blocking the cameras. You can see here, the fans weren't happy on Twitter. Frederico May with a few choice words. Mr. Vandenberg as well. They weren't having it. I'll tell you what though, Alogan was playing great and the main reason, the Philippines clawed it back to level 3-3. He nailed his double 12 and then gave it some all jacked up. But Voltage made no mistake the very next leg on double Double 10 returned the favor immediately, and England proved triumphant 5-3. Smith and Cross advance. It was close, but they got through. I'm just hoping that was first day jitters tweeted at support PDC because that made me nervous just then. Speaking of nervous, Spain must have been early on against Italy. The Italians came to play, got out to a 3-1 lead. We got some Gerwin Italy along the way, a roar that even Gezi would have been proud of. But as this scoreline suggests, Spain rattled off three straight and was sitting on the brink of victory. This reaction, though, will let you know Italy tied it up but in the decider, absolute madhouse. This is the dart of Tony Elsinas, and this is his celebration. It's what the World Cup is all about. Spain survives Italy 5-4 in an 11th and final leg, and that wraps it up. Day one, afternoon session in the books. There's how it played out, and here's what we have in store tonight. More great action, more drama, worlds colliding today on High Roller Radio.